Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on the nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play the shit for keeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And as we get into beta day six, yeah, I'm going to talk about what to expect, you know, when it comes to bringing pressure. And so what I'm seeing is kind of like if you send more you know depending upon your angles if you send more you're gonna get pressure you're gonna get the guy that's it's gonna come free um it, it's not like in the years past you know i remember boy the placement blitzes i i missed this man yeah this was the original uh loot blitz this was actually 22 so this was the original loot blitz before it became the loot blitz in 23 so like yeah y'all Man, y'all go back through my channel and look. I, I'm yeah, it's a whole bunch of blitzes and stuff in here. But yeah, the placement blitzes were were man. I twenty two had some good blitzes. I mean, like some real good stuff you could do in terms of like the place placement blitzes and bringing like a gap heat. And see, I'm I'm from the old school of Madden, man. I, this all this outside pressure, like my 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 boy Third says. He's like, man, I can see the guy coming. He's like, man, he's coming from way over there. Like, that doesn't bother me. It gives me all data throw. I see him coming from way over there. I have plenty of time and apparently a lot of area where he just came from. But the placement blitzes were like like crazy because you could get that A-gap heat. And see, I think, um, I ain't going to say too much about 24, what I'm seeing with the beta in terms of... Um, like exactly how to generate the heat, but there are ways, and it's kind of like old school. Um, the real old school Madden guys will remember like Whip Man and Tango and uh, Inside Blitz and DB Sting and like, you know, some of those blitzes that you could really, really get crazy with it, man. Man, yeah, it's, it's like with the individual movement. Let me Let me just say that. I, I'm, I'm put that. I'm gonna throw that nugget out there. Individual movement may have returned to a certain position that's gonna make it very key to unlock blitzes uh, in Madden 24 coming up. So this is it's gonna be crazy because it's like what I I put up like defensive guys on my um at, on Coach DC 404. So a lot of this stuff you're seeing probably stuff y'all haven't seen before, but it, these are the things I come up with on the you know in the defensive guides and i like to stay off meta i don't i don't why is that even such a thing to say it off meta like i just do i just do my own blitzes i don't i don't need to like blitz everybody and there's no you know disrespect to anybody who, who does it but it's like for real every time i hear somebody talk about a blitz and the first thing they say is blitz all linebackers i tune out I promise I, I do because it's like you, you just can't you're not going to be able to get away with that but in Madden you do so like the blitzes I try to come up with are really 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 like deceptive in nature in the fact that you may not even know that they're coming a lot of times it, a lot of these blitzes that you're looking at during this video you're not even going to know it's a blitz until you see it coming and so even just being able to disguise your coverages uh, with a little bit of movement and then audibling and the guys kind of stick to where you put them you can create a lot of, of different advantages in terms of you know sending more guys on the side than they have guys over there to block them so really that's what you know that's what blitzing is all about it's like overloads you just want to be able to overload a side like i said you can 
just make it look like it's coming one way and, and as soon as the ball is snapped you don't even see it coming at all and so a lot of the stuff that we used to actually really be able to work with is stunts from the defensive linemen um again i'm i'm saying too much but in 24 there's a lot of stuff coming up that you are going to be able to cre create your own individualized pressure or you, you should be able to unless something changes but so all these old school all the well I, I call them old school blitzes they're really new blitzes to a lot of people like to even the four three six one man the four three six one i think i was did i do i have a video on that like in madden 19 or madden 20 whatever it was be a four three six one man that's been out for ever 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 but most people only run it one way they don't know how to get that that middle guy coming right up that a gap and it's i love to run it against like people who run it with empty backfields that a gap pressure is much different than than the pressure that comes off the edges because that a gap pressure does not allow you to step into the throw at all i mean you're gonna have to get rid of it right then and there or you're just gonna have to take the risk of of having a uh, you know one of those great under pressure throws that always seems to happen at the most convenient times and um uh, but you know in terms of of what i am seeing like i like the coverage of course i hate the third the third down stuff i, I just really hope they they have got to do something about that. It, I mean, it just can't be a blown coverage every third down. And so what I'm starting to see is even people in the community, um, when you play, you know, you play games, people understand that third downs are terrible, terrible coverage now. And so people are like going for it. They're just throwing up anything at this point because they just figure you're not going to get the pick and you're probably not going to get pressure. And so that brings me to the point that one of the things that we're going to have to understand, especially with this, this new game, is that timely pressure, meaning you can't just, you're not just going to be able to come out and send seven, send eight, send seven, send eight, send seven, send eight. It, it's going to backfire. The coverage is not going to hold up to that. Now, to get some people, it may, but the flats are, are way too easy to exploit on 24, you know, to just be sitting there blitzing 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 the flats and the seams if you're blitzing trust me you're not covering both of them <laughs> you're giving up one of them so it's you know it's i mean to each his own but I, i'm gonna enjoy not well hopefully let's, let's say hopefully i'm gonna enjoy hopefully not seeing just the same blitz all linebackers you know lurk the middle with the safety or one of the linebackers and just hope for the best you know, hopefully we, we we will see, you know, more deceptive, you know, blitz styles and, and, and people coming up with, with different stuff. I like to see that. To me, I, I think like competition is healthy and in different styles are healthy. You know, y'all, I'm sounding like somebody's grandfather, which I am. But I, it's like back in back in my back in my day when we used to blitz. Yeah. No, <laughs> but yeah, you you had to blitz and you had to have some skill behind it you just couldn't blitz like every play you're just not gonna sit there and blitz 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 you would have to you know your blitzes had to have some deception behind them um you could probably set them up the same way and set them up to look like they're you know the blitz is coming and they're not but it's it's like now what i'm seeing is it seems that it's getting probably a little bit more realistic or about as realistic as it can possibly get considering that it's a video game y'all trust me I'm, I'm always in the middle of that but the the key is that if if we have different people running different blitzes not everybody running the same um db sting and and all that other stuff you know you, you're just going to have more diverse games, more diverse outcomes. You're going to see different animations. That's one thing I'm noticing. It's like I might I play games or I, I'll just play. I come into a game thinking to myself, OK, I'm going to play a certain style. This game, we're going to attack the flats. This game, we're going to attack the middle, whatever, whatever. And so according to the styles that you play, it's almost like you're teaching the game how to play against you. You know, the things that you do the most, as you see, they they're tracking our play calls. You see it right there on your play call screen. It's telling you how many times you've called a play in the last 
six months in the amount of yards per play you get. So trust me, all this information is being tracked. Don't think it's not. And so I say that to say that with the adaptive AI that's coming, if you just sit there and do the same things and you do the same predictable algorithm, you're actually creating your own algorithm through your play calling and your own tendencies. So if you just sit there and do it time after time after time, you're going to keep, you're going to have some success, but as the AI adapts to you, they're going to really take start taking a stronger stance against whatever it is that you're most successful at. I don't know if that made any sense to anybody. So in other words, you're going to have to be diverse in your blitzing. That means it's just sending seven is not going to get there all the time. You're going to start to see your guys stumble and fall all over each other. And one guy starts to blitz and then stops and all that stuff. So I, I would suggest Hey, go to Coach DC 404. Start picking up those strategy guides because all of these blitzes still work. Yeah, they all still work. Yeah, that's about a lot of them still work. But you're just going to have to come up with different strategies and, and understand. Start to incorporate the manual press to your to your man blitzes. Let's just say that. Even, even some of your zone blitzes. But start to incorporate the manual press to your man blitzes. And start to take away whoever the hot read guy is. If it's the tight end or if it's the slot guy. Even if you have to be the curl flat defender. Where you can just sit there and play the curl. You know, play the slot guy. Press him. And then you can still play your curl flat. And actually you'll probably make a better decision than the AI ever will maybe but you know what i mean so start to play with different guys don't get caught on user in the same guy all the time user inside linebacker on the left maybe next play one on the right just start to get a little bit more diverse and start to understand that you can disguise your blitzes get used to it, it it's gonna happen anyway man i appreciate each and every one of you guys it is your boy coach dc 404 i am out Oh, my God.